What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I'm going to be talking about presentation in Revit. More accurately, I'm going to be showing you how to create these cool presentation boards in Revit. So uh, when it comes to my Revit tutorials, I try to show you how to create great presentation in Revit just because it's something that grabs people's attention and I think it's something that will uh, kind of pull you in into learning Revit when you can see all of the nice things. And then of course when you see how you can do all of the cool and nice presentation, then then you're more likely to learn about all of the complex back-end things that make Revit such a unique piece of software. Now, one of the final phases of demonstration is, of course, creating a presentation board. And now Pinterest and Google and Facebook and Instagram are filled with these amazing presentation boards. And usually people think that they can only be achieved in some post-production software, such as Photoshop or InDesign or something like that, or Illustrator perhaps. Uh, but actually, you can do the whole process, the whole presentation panel within Revit, and it's not that complicated. So in today's tutorial, I was thinking about creating uh, this presentation of how to create presentation boards in Revit. Now, if you're interested about Revit, Revit presentations, Revit graphics, and much, much more, I have a whole course on that topic, and it's available on my website, balkanarchive.com. It's going to be the first link in the description. There, I have also some uh, beginner to intermediate courses, as well as a lot of these intermediate and advanced courses. So check it out if you're interested. It. Also, if you would like to see the project files, such as this one that I'm using, which was actually created as part of one of those courses, well, all of my Revit project files are available on my Patreon. That's going to be the second link in the description, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit and let's create these uh, presentation boards. So let's go into Revit. So here we are in Revit and this is that project that I mentioned. So here we have our regular uh, sheets ready to be printed. So we have a lot of technical information here, but I think it would be really nice to wrap it up in a, a presentation board uh, or a presentation panel. So let's see how can we do something like that. So what I want to start from is some nice 3D view. So if we go here to the project browser under 3D views for this project, uh, as you can see, we have this nice view. And uh, the only problem is we have these two trees that are kind of masking off the house. So I'm going to select one, hold the control key, select the other one. And then just by using the hide element option here on the modify tab, we can get rid of those. Uh, next, uh, let's select the outline or the crop for this view. And then when you go here to the size crop option, uh, as you can see here, it will give you the dimensions, the width and height of this particular uh, rendering. So as you can see, it's quite small. Uh, it's 30 centimeters by uh, 120 centimeters. So you can, for example, click here on scale, and then you can make this larger, something like 400 millimeters. Hit apply, okay. So as you can see, then the height changes uh, uh, as well. Uh, but of course, we want to make this a bit higher as well. So let's extend it, go to size crop again. So the highest height is now uh, 433. Maybe crop it a little bit off here and extend it a bit more here, crop size. Okay, let's go up a bit further. Okay, it's 511, let's just uh, make sure that now it's checked to field of view and then here you can drop it to 500 hit apply and it's going to just crop it a little bit so we have that exact dimension so uh, now if we select this this is 400 by oops apply okay i made the mistake there or we can actually just go to 500 oops yeah, that's what they want. Okay, so uh, let's just double check. Okay, it did take up the dimensions. Okay, so now once we know the dimensions of this uh, here rendering, what we can do next is uh, just uh, go here to File, New, and then we want to create a new sheet for this. So I'm just going to go here to Family, uh, go to title blocks and we have this new size metric. Now this will allow you to create a custom title block or a custom sheet size for your uh, panel. So if I hit open, I can match those dimensions. So the height, I want it to be at 500 millimeters and then the width, I want that at 400 
millimeters and you can add some uh, text here or something like that or you can leave it as is in this case I'm just going to leave it as is go to save this family and I can just save it on my desktop as a uh, present presentation panel hit save there we go okay so let's load it into the project there we go hit the escape key perfect okay so uh, we can actually get rid of this now okay so once we have that uh, new presentation board sheet <laughs> created uh, let's then go and just make sure to see what that looks like so if we go here to sheets right click go to new sheet presentation panel and there we go we have our new sheet created okay now uh, let's go back to the 3d view and we should probably render this uh, but uh, if I just go to the view tab go to render and then here's something that you will notice for the rendering so we have the option for the background uh, you can go with these cloudy options but for presentation panels or presentation boards I found these to be quite awful so I like to use an image now we have to load in an image and I currently don't have one so I'm going to show you how to modify an existing image to fit in something like this perfectly so what I like to do is just use Photoshop and here I found this uh, nice image online so it's a nice little sky image uh, but I would of course like to modify it a little bit so the first thing uh, is I, I want to make it brighter so let's go to brightness and contrast here in the adjustments if you don't have the adjustments panel just go to window and then find adjustments and make sure that that is checked so I like to increase the brightness quite a bit because this isn't supposed to be representing the sky it should just give you a blank uh, space above your model to or above your rendering to present your other views uh, so once we have that uh, the next thing that we can do is just go to uh, let's see uh, I like to go to the uh, vibrance filter or vibrance adjustment and uh, just drag that down a little bit and also I like to fade the top of the image just to make the top uh, well be a bit more presentable so you can do that by going here to the image itself uh, using just uh, some white color and then just using a brush with a very very soft brush and very large soft brush and I like to set the opacity of it at something a bit smaller and then I just like to go with just a few strokes like that so as you can see it we're kind of fading the top of the image which will give us enough space uh, or a real estate to place our uh, our views on so uh, once we have something that looks like this I'm, I'm happy with this image I think it will fit in perfectly so I'm going to go here to uh, file save as and then I can save it on the desktop uh, let's see desktop as the uh, background image hit save okay okay so once we have that uh, saved uh, so uh, is it saved as a JPEG let's see okay let's save it as a JPEG as well background image uh, you can crank up the quality as high as possible and then let's go back into Revit uh, so now let's go back here into customized image search for an image here's our background image hit open there we go. Uh, now you have the option to stretch, which will make it look terrible. So we're going to fit it along height, which will crop off the extent. So if you use original image, it will look like well, it would look like this, which is terrible. So just go with height for this one, and then if you were going with a kind of a landscape uh, view, then you would um, just scale it up to width so uh, as soon as you're done placing it uh, or, or setting it up just click OK and now we can render this now I like to render it at 300 dpi uh, make sure that the resolution is set to printer and the setting is at medium now these are my preferences you can use your own if you want and now let's just render and now as you can see uh, we're done with the rendering so uh, you don't want to export this you want to save it to the project now of course you can adjust the exposure a little bit if you want it if you want to make it a bit brighter or darker uh, I'm quite happy with the way this looks 
maybe something like this is perfect. Okay, so just click OK and then save it to the project. You can call it the uh, the the main 3D view, perhaps. Okay, so just click OK and then that should be saved to your project. So if I just close this down, uh, in your project browser you will have the renderings tab appear and then there uh, I have this rendering, the, the old one, and then I have my main uh, 3D view. Okay, so now what you can do is, uh, let's close these two off and let's go back to my new sheet and then I can just go to the project browser, go to those renderings and just drag over the main rendering and place it there. Now, as you can see, it's uh, way too large. So, oops, not this. So, okay, so I accidentally got rid of it. Okay, so this is the the, the main rendering, and as you can see, the uh, width is set to one hundred or to uh, to one fifty six, uh, and then the the height is at two hundred. So I'm not really sure what these units are. So let's set the width to four hundred, or to yeah to four hundred millimeters. Okay, that's a bit too large, so maybe if this is in centimeters, then it should be 40. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, so let's go back to the sheet, and then uh, for, let's just check the units just for a second. So, go to manage, project units. So yeah, we're working with centimeters. And then uh, this sheet, if I go into, just to double check. Yeah, the sheet width is 40 centimeters. Okay, so uh, let's go to the main 3D view, drag it over, and as you can see, it there. There we go. Uh, you can get rid of this uh, title line just by going with no title, and then you can just try to kind of align it here on the sheet. Now, as you can see, this is a bit larger than the sheet itself, uh, so you can always go back to your main. Rendering, select it, make it a bit smaller, make it, I don't know, 39.5. It's always going to be a bit larger. I'm not really sure why. Now, let's see, does it fit? Okay, so it fits in this corner. Up here. Ah, it's almost there. So, let's see. Okay, now, yeah, it's, uh, it's too small. Okay, so let's go back to the main 3D view. Yeah, let's go back to 40. I'm not sure why it's doing this, so, oops, nope, okay, so let's bring it back, so it is a little bit of back and forth until you align it perfectly, but okay, so now it seems to be aligned, but anyways, once you have the main uh, rendering set up, now you can just go here and find the view, so for example, the exploded diagram, Okay, so because it's already on one existing view, we can't drag it over, so uh, we have to go here to this presentation view, or no, the technical plans, and just get rid of all of these views, uh, just like that, and then let's get rid of these as well, okay, uh, maybe this one as well, so now if I go back to my new sheet, now, hopefully, I'll be able to drag over the diagram so as you can see it can look like this now of course this is maybe a bit too large so you can open that diagram up change the scale to 1 to 200 perhaps if we go back now to the diagram that's this one over here now it's smaller okay it's still way too large so let's go back to the diagram let's go with 1 to 500 let's see what that would look like so go to sheets this is the new sheet Okay, maybe it's a bit small, but I, I kind of like it. So anyway, select it, uh, go to the properties to get rid of that title line, just like that. So as you can see, you can have your kind of exploded view. You can go to your uh, technical plans, so like the floor plan. Come on, there we go. So you can drag over, okay, so in this case, this is way too large, uh, but you can find your... Uh, so you can find your floor plans that are maybe fitting in just like this one and so so on and so forth maybe find the section again the section I think these are 1 to 50 yeah so if we were to change these to maybe 1 to 100 or even 1 to 200 then it messes up the dimensions a little bit but I guess we can still uh, place it here on our sheet so now it would fit in a little bit better now of course we would have to fix up the dimensions and so on 
but uh, with a little bit of back and forth you can kind of assemble everything here on this sheet and it would look perfect so what i'm going to do now is uh, perhaps just go into each of these views so like the section and then uh, i'm going to go to the properties panel for the view go to v vg overrides or the visibility graphics overrides and just turn off the annotation categories which will make these a little bit more presentable. Same thing with the floor plan, the main one, change the scale to 1 to, 2, 1 to 100, and then in the VG overrides, turn off annotation. There we go. So as you can see, it looks a bit more presentable. And now uh, if we go back to our presentation sheet, this one, let's get rid of this one. This one's ugly. And here, let's get rid of the title line. Perfect. Let's find that floor plan now. Okay, so as you can see, the floor plan looks better. But again, we would have to get rid of the title line. Place it maybe here. Place the section here. Place the exploded diagram here. And then, of course, you can add whatever you want. Maybe a schedule that has like a, like a room schedule or something like that. May move this here, the room schedule there, something like this, or perhaps let's see what else can we try. Uh, maybe the site plan, for example. So here's the site plan, place it there, get rid of the title line, perfect. So we can have the site plan there and then the exploded 3D view here and just get rid of the room schedule. So there we go. You can play around with these, you can ar arrange them, rearrange them, uh, play around with the settings, but that's the whole uh, idea. So as you can see, we can see that uh, that view in the back or the, the clouds in the back, and then we have our uh, views on top of that. And I think it looks really good. So that's how you can create these presentation panels in Revit. And of course you can always uh, use some uh, text to add maybe a title so let's go to annotation text and of course make sure to use a large text and let's call this one VA for Balkan Arctic house maybe small house in Revit there we go uh, and then at any point you can select this. Well, let's go into edit type, make it even larger. So let's try 15 millimeters and let's make it bold. Perfect. So you can place it kind of like that and play around with all of this. You can, uh, of course, use detail lines to add just a few more elements there and uh, just make it look really nice. And of course, you can always add symbols so you can model uh, some elements uh, like the north arrow or things like that as symbols. And then you can add those here on your panel uh, as well. So there you go. That's how you create these uh, presentation panels uh, or presentation sheets in Revit. Now, uh, if you want to explore the whole course on uh, visibility and presentation in Revit, check it out. It's going to be the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to my website, balkanarctic.com. And if you're looking just for my project files, uh, check out my Patreon. That's going to be the second link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned uh, a lot of new things and then I'll see you in another uh, tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.